Hello students. In this particular presentation, I will be discussing upon efficiency of transformer as well as condition required for maximum efficiency to occur. In general, if I speak about efficiency of any equipment or a device, we prefer the device to be of highly efficient. Similarly, transformer is also very highly efficient and in general, the efficiency of any equipment or a device will be given in terms of two important parameters. One is called as an output parameter, another one is called as an input parameter. If I speak about transformer, efficiency which is represented in terms of eta, it is given as output power in watts divided by input power in watts or it is the ratio of in output power to the input power which is expressed in terms of watts. If you consider any machine, you are going to apply some sort of stimulus for that which we will be calling it or designating it in terms of input or we will be exciting a particular machine and we will be recognizing what is it response. It will be in terms of output. Since we are talking about machine here, particularly if it is a machine here we are describing it as an electrical type of machine. Whenever we consider an electrical machine, obviously it will be including some sort of electrical circuit. Electrical circuits, for example, it may include the component of resistor. If I talk about resistor, it is not an ideal machine what we are talking about. It is applicable in terms of practical usage, wherein you can expect some sort of losses also. You cannot expect the exact input what you have applied to be appearing towards your output side. So it will be comprising of output along with that I will be obtaining some few sort of losses also. So how I can express this input output as well as loss relationship? One easier way to remember the equation is just in the form of your KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law. The sum of current entering the junction or a node is equal to the sum of current leaving the junction or a node. I can just apply the same concept over here. The input is applied into the machine whereas the output is obtained in terms of losses as well as the main output. So I can tell that this is entering and these two parameters are leaving the machine. So in general I can write the expression for input that is input power as equal to output power plus losses. From this equation itself if I want to find out what is output, output is nothing but input minus losses. So this is the expression which is going to state as the relationship between input output and losses. So this expression efficiency is output power in watts divided by input power in watts. Output power if I want to describe it in terms of input power as well as losses from the previous expression which I have quoted it is nothing but input power in watts minus losses divided by input power in watts. So if I just split this particular equation input power in watts divided by input power in watts minus losses divided by input power in watts. So this particular input power in watts divided by input power in watts will get cancelled and it will yield to a value of 1. So it is 1 minus losses divided by input power in watts. So this is nothing but efficiency equation expressed in terms of for the efficiency relationship in terms of losses as well as input power. Next thing is I have to determine what will be the condition for maximum efficiency to occur. From the equation of efficiency we know that efficiency is equal to 1 minus losses divided by input power in watts. From my previous presentation, if you have listened to that, you must be clear about the type of losses what we are having in, in transformers. Usually uh, or mainly we will be having two types of uh, losses in broad classification. One is called as iron loss, another one is copper loss. Iron loss is also called as core loss which will be occurring in the core of the transformer or it will also be called as a constant loss. Whereas copper loss will be called as a variable loss. So losses means it will be including both your iron loss as well as copper loss now. So in order to mention it in terms of iron loss I will use a notation called as WI. Copper loss is used with the notation of WCU. 
Just substitute in this major equation what we have obtained for efficiency. Eta is equal to 1 minus. In place of losses, I will be substituting it as combination of iron as well as copper loss, which is nothing but Wi plus Wcu divided by input power in watt. I have considered this in terms of input power. Input power means it is applied to the primary side of the transformer, wherein the voltage applied to the primary terminal will be V1. Current, apply, current that is going to start to flow from the applied voltage, it will be in terms of primary current I1 and the corresponding power factor will be cos phi. Why I have written it as Vi cos phi? Because the power equation we know it is Vi cos phi. Instead of V, I am taking it as primary voltage V1. Instead of I, I am going to consider it as primary current I1 and this power factor is nothing but cos phi. So, the expression from the main equation efficiency that is eta is equal to 1 minus losses divided by input power in watts can be written in terms of ion and copper loss as 1 minus Wi plus Wcu divided by V1 I1 cos phi. What is this copper loss? Copper loss is usually called as an I square R loss. In all these conditions, I am going to take into consideration the input or the primary side of the transformer. So, here also I will be considering the value for substituting it for WCU which is called as I square R loss. I square is nothing but I am going to substitute it in terms of I1 square that is the primary current and resistance with reference to the primary side of the transformer I will denote it as R01 or R01. So, this is called as the copper loss WCU. So, in this particular equation of efficiency where I have substituted it in terms of losses comprising of Wi and Wcu, I will be substituting for Wcu as I1 square into R01. So, if I substitute that, I will be getting this particular equation that is eta is equal to 1 minus Wi plus instead of Wcu, it will become I1 square into R01 divided by V1 I1 cos phi. So, this is the expression what you will be getting it in terms of copper loss as well as ion loss. From this equation, relationship between the efficiency, then ion loss, copper loss. So, with the help of this particular equation, I will try to find out the maximum condition for efficiency. What we have to do is just split this equation. So, 1 minus Wi divided by V1 I1 cos phi minus into plus minus into plus it is once again minus. So, it is minus I1 square into R01 divided by V1 I1 cos phi. So, this is the equation what you are going to get from this particular expression. If I just split it, minus is common, minus is for Wi as well as this I square R loss. So, minus Wi divided by V1 I1 cos phi minus I1 square into R01 divided by V1 I1 cos phi. So, from this equation, we will be cancelling out certain terms. For example, in this, there is no common term to get cancelled out. Whereas, if you consider the second half of the expression, I1 square I am having, here I am having I1. So, one I1 term will get cancelled out and this square term will get cancelled out. And we will remain with the equation for efficiency or eta as 1 minus Wi divided by V1 into I1 cos phi minus here one of the terms of I1 has cancelled out. So, it becomes simplified in terms of I1 into R01 divided by V1 into cos phi. So, this is the expression what you are going to get after simplification of the main equation. How to determine the condition for? maximum efficiency. So, this is the simplified equation I have. In order to obtain the maximum efficiency, I have to look into the parameters which are of variable kind in this equation of efficiency which is comprising of now iron loss, copper loss and the power term that is the input power what you are going to apply to the what you are going to have in terms of primary side of the transformer. So, after cancelling out you will be obtaining with this particular term as I1 into R01 divided by V1 into cos phi. For this, what are the variable terms and what are the constant terms? If you consider this particular equation, here everything remains constant except the value of current I1. I1 is the 
variable parameter over here. The input voltage applied to the primary, whatever you are going to apply, it remains same throughout. I n loss is obviously it is a constant loss. I1 is variable over here because current is going to vary. So that will be a change in the current. So change in the flux. EMF will be induced in the primary, then back in the secondary side due to the mutual induction concept and all. We have already discussed it in the previous sessions. So from this equation, we will notify that only one variable parameter what we have in this equation is I1. So in order to determine the condition for maximum efficiency, we are supposed to derive the efficiency parameter with respect to I1. Since I am finding out the maximum efficiency, this derivative term has to be equated to a zero value. So if I equate this, if I find the derivative of eta with reference to that is with respect to I1 and if I equate it to a value of 0, I will be obtaining the condition for maximum efficiency at the end. So, first find out what is the derivative with respect to I1. So, d efficiency that is eta, d eta by d I1 can be written as d by d I1 of this entire parameter, this entire expression. 1 minus Wi divided by V1 I1 cos phi minus I1 R01 divided by V1 cos phi and equate it to a value of 0. You know the derivative of any, any constant term will be equal to a value of 0. So, in this Wi is constant, V1 is constant, cos phi is constant. Only variable parameter is I1. So, what is the derivation of minus 1 by I1? It is minus of minus 1 by I1 square which will become equal to plus sign over here. So, it is 0 plus Wi divided by V1 I1 square cos phi minus in this particular term I1 is variable. So, R01 V1 cos phi is a constant term. So, R01 V1 and cos phi. V1 and cos phi are the constant terms. Derivative of I1 with respect to I1 is 1. So, I have denoted it in terms of R01 divided by V1 cos phi. So, this particular value will be equated to a value of 0. So, if you just manipulate the equation, so if you just rearrange the equation, you will be getting it in terms of Wi divided by V1 I1 square into cos phi will be equal to a value of R01 divided by V1 cos phi. So, from this equation, your V1 term is going to get cancelled out, cos phi term is cancelled out. So, Wi divided by I1 square is equal to R01. We are left out with only these three terms. Wi is the I n loss. If I just cross multiply these two, I1 square and R01, it is I square R loss or we call it as a copper loss. So, if you refer to this particular equation, so after cancelling out certain terms, we are remaining with Wi by I1 square equal to R01. Wi is the I n loss. I1 square into R01 is the copper loss. So, if I just cross multiply these parameters, I will obtain the equation as Wi is equal to I1 square into R01, where this I1 square into R01 is nothing but a copper loss, which I have designated it with the term called as WCU. So, what is the condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer? It is nothing but for a maximum efficiency, efficiency to occur, your iron loss as well as copper loss in the transformer, both values will be same. That is Wi is equal to WCU. So, this is the derivation which we are going to have for determining the efficiency of a transformer as well as to determine the maximum efficiency condition of a transformer. So, hope you have understood these two concepts. Thank you.